Hi, I'm Hitomi, and today I'm going to share with you a concept or a, a way of designing that is called signature design. I'm calling it signature not because it's going to be my own personal signature type of design. It's just a manner in which I actually design the line, linear flow in this design is like cursive writing, just like a signature. I'm going to just start off by introducing what I have got uh, started here. This one is actually Accent Decor Orient Compote. It's one of my favorite container, especially when I'm doing a design such as this that creates kind of like an open pond kind of a look to start. The mechanics inside of this is that I have a piece of styrofoam uh, glued down to the very bottom, this end of the pot here. And then I actually pan glue these willow sticks into it so that it's really, really solid, so nothing comes apart. And then I cover the styrofoam with the rocks, the black rocks, black stones, and then fill it right up with water. So all the flowers that's going to be designed into this, it just goes into that water. And so there's no um, really a floral foam involved at all. It's really designing in water. The next thing that I wanna have ready is actually uh, bind wire. I have the brown, brown bind wire here. And what I've done is wrapped it around my hand several times and I just clip on top and the bottom so that I have a nice pile of bind wire ready to go for tying in some of these items that I'm going to be designing. The next thing I want to have is some U uh, glue dashes. Now U glue dashes comes in little squares, but what I want to do is because that's actually too much to use at once, it's much easier to have smaller pieces, so I'm going to cut them in half pieces, half dashes, so that I have a lot more to use. And actually, the scissors that I'm using is actually titanium nonstick scissors that you can get at your craft store. The flowers that I'm using are my favorites. That's um, Gloriosa lilies. I've kept them in the bag. When they come shipped, they are in the bag, like sort of vacuum packed. I don't ever take them out of water. Just put it in a cooler and keep it just nice and cool. That's the best way to, uh, to have them uh, ready. And I'm also using... These are from the Naniwa Flower Auction, the Japanese product. It's called Lindera. Beautiful, beautiful material that gives you a real touch of spring. Uh, this time of the year, it's perfect. And then I'm also using uh, horsetails or Equisitum Hayamali. And that's something else that I'm using here. Another one of my favorite products. And then we also have the Aspidistra, the white tip Aspidistra, extra long. And so these are the material that, that I'm going to be using in this particular design. I'm going to first start out with using the Lindera, Lindera into this design. This is the beautiful branch that I showed you earlier. I'm going to cut it on an angle with a pruner, a good clean pruner, and then I'm going to just add it into this, this tower of um, willow that I have already set up. I'm going to insert it in. I'm going to tie it in a couple of places so that with the bind wire so that it stays in place. So I'm going to do that and then the second piece again cut on the an angle and I'm going to bring it in from the side on this side so that we have a nice vertical upright of uh, Lindera into this uh, structure in the middle to give it an interesting texture uh, difference from the willow to that fresh green Lindera. Now, Lindera apparently, um, I'm not real familiar with this for, uh, this particular material. It was brand new to me at the wholesale. I was very excited to see it at the Kirby Signature. And, uh, but I was told that it really blooms out beautifully, almost like a prunus. And so I'm anxious to see what happens after a few days. I think it's going to be a real wonderful surprise. So I got these tied in to start. I want to just place everything so that it's just what I want right here. And then into this, I'm going to add in Equisitum. So that with Equisitum, what I'm gonna do is take several of these, say three or four, and I'm gonna pop them into this, this structure here. So that's gonna be part of the center. And what I'm gonna also do with this is to tie it in one or two places so that it stays upright, because especially with the Aquisitum, if it's just in that water at the bottom, it could float up if it's not tied in place. And the reason why I chose to use Lindera is because it's branched, so it adds a little bit more volume to the center instead of just the willow, which is just a straight whips. 
So I'm going to tie that in so it stays in place. And then this is where the signature kind of look comes in. And that is by using Aspidistra, the white tipped Aspidistra. These are really beautiful but, uh, specimens. Um, it actually it has a very nice long stem and then a nice good sized leaf on top, which I'm going to tear. And the reason why I call this design uh, signature is because when I'm designing this particular piece into, into the, um, the core of this uh, structure in the middle, I'm actually pretending like these are going to be, I, I'm actually like drawing a signature, like if I'm writing like a cursive, then I'm drawing a, some kind of a signature kind of writing into this design. How I'm going to hold it in place is by using a little bit of the U glue, and this then attaches to a spot on the on the structure that I've got created in, the, in through the middle. So that's kind of what I mean by signature is that we're really creating a, like a writing, a beautiful beautiful writing, a signature, as if I'm writing Hitomi into this design. And so by thinking that way, it's much easier than thinking of creating shapes because as in cursive, it's really linear, and that's what we're trying to create here is a linear. With the second piece, a tear, and I actually actually take down a little bit of that leaf on the side and take out that core stem there so that it doesn't create a, a stoppage in the flow of that, that line. I cut that down at the bottom, so I'm gonna come into this a little bit in a different angle. And what I've done, as I've done in the previous um, segment of the Equisium, is I cut into it just a tiny bit, so that then this end of this actually goes into that Equisium like this. So this way, I get a really a nice uh, flow, and I'm kind of pretending that I'm, it's almost like a, a Japanese calligraphy, that I'm creating a, a scroll, and I'm trying to create this beautiful writing uh, that flows through this design. I think if you imagine that, you get a much more, um, of a feel for what the line should do. That it sort of just literally flows through the design instead of creating shapes. And I think that's, it's sort of a method that I've actually adapted to, um, to be able to do a really a, a beautiful linear composition is like as if it's a handwriting, a beautiful handwriting. And this last piece, I think, I'm going to make it so that the one end goes clearly to the top. What I might do is actually tear it off on this one so that it goes to a tip instead of that for forming the loop. So I'm going to go ahead and use this in this design, maybe from the back end, and to bring it up through, and I'm going to use another U glue for that. The beautiful thing about Aspidistra is it's indestructible. Uh, if you tear the, it in, in whatever way, whether it's thin or thick or whatever, um, it doesn't brown on the edges. It lasts really for a good week or more. And um, it just handles really, really well and holds up beautifully. And so it's a perfect material to use for designs such as this. So I'm gonna just basically complete the insertions um, on this so that I, visually the lines look really, really attractive. At this point is I want to use the beautiful flowers. I wanna use the Gloriosa lilies. What I'm going to do is just cut that bag open and carefully remove these beautiful flowers. And what I'm going to do with these, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the syringe 
And I'm going to draw water out of my little pond here. And with this syringe, I'm going to fill that tube up in there. Ooh, you see the water squirt out. And what I'm going to do is use that as a point to design into. That's that's what really what Equisitum is, is it makes for a beautiful water tube that you can use in segments, just fill with water. And as you know, Gloriosa is not a real heavy drinker. So this size of an Equisitum uh, water tubes work out just perfectly well. So see how easy it was to create this design, this signature design, and the flow of the line that creates almost like the cursive writing, and how easy it was to design into the equisita, which is sort of in the, the core of this uh, arrangement in the main structure, into which, of course, we cut into it like this, and then filled it with water with the syringe like this, until it squirts out. And this section itself could be used as a water tube like this as well. So that then you can also design into this. So just think of Equisita as nature's water tube. And you'll have a lot of fun designing something like this.